Let's start with a quick timeline. It was around 2022, 23, with tools like GitHub's Copilot that tab completion started to bring AI into our code bases. AI completing our lines and our methods, that was pretty impressive, especially at the time. But when it missed the mark, which it often did, it caused more friction than actual improvements in speed. But for some of us, we saw glimpses of promise. It wasn't difficult to see how once the underlying models improved, then tab completion and wider scale code generation could actually change the game. And it turns out we didn't have to wait very long for those models to get better. In 2024, tools like Cursor and Windsurf introduced agent mode, and suddenly AI wasn't just completing our code, it was writing entire features from our prompts. Meanwhile, the vibe coding movement exploded, non-technical founders building apps in hours, posting their wins on Twitter. Those weren't real products. They were demos. They were prototypes. They didn't have real error handling, no edge cases, no scalability. And during that period, for those of us using the more pro tools like Cursor and VS Code, it still felt messy. We were prompting in circles. We were spending more time explaining what we wanted than it would have taken us to just write it ourselves. The capability had shifted. We went from fill in the blank to build this thing, but we haven't quite figured out the workflow, how to deploy the right inputs to get the right outputs. And that brings us to early 2025, when Claude Code introduced their terminal-based interface, pulling us even further away from coding ourselves. And within weeks, there was a noticeable shift in sentiment among professional developers across the industry. The skepticism had faded away, and we started to trust coding agents to actually handle complex coding tasks autonomously. Now, I think that's exciting, but I'm also seeing it drive a deeper fear out there, that we're losing our craft entirely, that all of our years of experience, all of our knowledge of how systems work, that won't matter anymore. In my view, the opposite is true. Our experience matters now more than ever. Because our bottleneck is no longer writing and rewriting code by hand. That's a solved problem. So what matters now is knowing what to build and how to architect it. That's on us. AI can implement any pattern we describe, but it can't choose which pattern is right. It can't understand our users. It can't make strategic calls that mean the difference between whether our product succeeds or fails. As builders, that's always been our real craft. So the question becomes, what are the most important skills that we need to focus on in this new era of building with AI?